greeting to all the students welcome to global online and here we are back with our nta ugc net paper 2 preparation for management that is 2022 batch as you all know that uh, the day uh, the exam the application forms are I mean to say the filling of application forms is going on. So definitely the dates are not yet announced, which will be announced soon. So on an average two months time you have, you know, uh, after the application form, once the application forms are filled, uh, since then two months time is there for the examination. So it is on peak and uh, you have to prepare uh, your uh, paper two equally with paper one. And we have already completed three units of paper two of management. This is a fourth unit going on. And um, slowly and gradually will be able to complete all but from your end you have to remember that you have to keep on revising keep on you know uh, doing the things and at the end uh, giving your best in order to crack your examination so this is uh, lecture two for unit uh, 10 which is entrepreneurship development and this under this topic under this lecture we are going to do the topic that is women entrepreneurs so uh, when we talk about this global online let me tell you one thing that on global online first of all you can uh, definitely this app system will help you to understand the things go to the google play store in google play store in the tags bar you can see you can type global online and you can see the app this is the third this is the updated app icon through which you can download install and then you can go and check you know once you install you can go and check in store in store you get paper two option that is management paper two wherein we have have complete video lectures of management notes in the form of pdf test series are there previous year question papers are there uh, target based preparation like previous year question papers you will get five years question papers and target based preparation is like a mock test which will help you to give a lot of practice uh, for the particular subject along with paper two if you exclusively take paper two along with that paper one will be absolutely free so you can take the opportunity of this the cost of same as rupees um, 7000 you can take an opportunity and you can ensure that you know uh, you're doing your best uh, for your preparation of the upcoming cycle which is on an average uh, a time span of two months is left now uh, along with this we have also started for ugc net 2022 batch paper one complete crash course in 50 days which is going to start from 5th of may 2000 uh, sorry 2022 now this crash course wherein you will be having daily live lecture in the form of mcqs which are divided into two faculties and this will be morning and evening so morning uh, sessions will be taken by zeba Bam. evening sessions will be taken by me we have also divided the unit so you will come to know which unit is going to be taken by which map uh, you will be getting notes and all the topics you'll also get last 10 year question papers answer key uh, so that it will help you to understand and revise the topics test series 2500 plus mcqs are available you can download with the help of global online app which i showed you just now or you can even whatsapp us if you're taking paper one the paper one cost is rupees 3000 now uh yes apart from that we know very well what what exactly things how to download the app and how to go and check which is help you to understand the things very well okay so let's understand the word women entrepreneurs so definition wise the government of india has defined women entrepreneurs on women participation and equity and employment of a business enterprise so accordingly who are women entrepreneurs so women a uh, woman on entrepreneur is defined as an enterprise which is owned and controlled by a woman having a minimum financial interest of 51% of the capital and giving at least 51% of employment generated in the enterprise to women. So here it is not only capital, but the, the power, I mean to say the maximum uh, capacity of employment generation is for women's, okay? So that type of organizations or enterprise is called as uh, women on the uh, such organized or such uh, and entrepreneurs are called as women entrepreneurs. Now, according to Scumter, we have also studied e uh, that is the entrepreneurship development theory of Joseph Scumter. So he has also said that women who innovate, who intimate, and uh, sorry, who uh, win, women who innovate, who imitate and adopt a business activity are called as women entrepreneurs. So definitely uh, the one who is not only having the share, but also having creativity, also having a business, uh, uh, I mean to say, uh, generation business and has ad or adopt the business activity can be called as was women one 
women entrepreneurs. So let's see what are the features of women entrepreneurs. That is imagination, uh, ability to work hard or attribute to work hard, persistence, ability and desire to take risks, value of self-fulfillment over money, responsibility, uh, sense of responsibility, high level of optimism, tolerance for ambiguity, flexibility, organizing capacity. So whatever we have seen in, you know, the qualities of an entrepreneur, the same qualities required even if it is in uh, uh, women entrepreneurs. So these are the features or these are the qualities which needs to have. So imagination, innovation, uh, creativity is a it's an attribute of uh, entrepreneurship. So that has to be there in an entrepreneur. Apart from that hard work, optimism, tolerance, flexibility, uh, organizing capacity, these are all, you know, the supplementary uh, features which are definitely required uh, in order to become an entrepreneur. Now, so from this particular part, we will understand the development of women entrepreneurship in India. So there are, you know, certain stages. So we'll just go stage by stage and we'll understand the things. So the first stage is from 1947 to 83. Now, the number of steps to improve the conditions of women were like, you know, constitutional provisions, that is rules and regulations, labor legislation to protect women, help in the field of employment, working conditions, vocational training was given to the women's ensuring equal pay, that is equal remuneration, formation of women organizations. organizations. So this was some, some amount of steps which were taken under the first step as a step towards women entrepreneurship development. Now, de important declarations which were made by United Nations organization was year 1975 was the international year for, uh, I mean to say in year 1975, it was marked as an international year for women. The period between 1975 to 85 as International Decade for Women, as various conferences and workshops were organized to highlight the importance of women. So this was the important, you know, declaration which was taken by United Nations organization that can be a part of a question. So you need to remember the stages, the years, what exactly happened and what was an important highlighting point. When we go to uh, development of entrepreneurship in India on, along with the first stage itself. So here basically the entrepreneurship training programs for self-employment of women for women beneficiaries were, you know, uh, established. Establishment of National Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board that is also called as NSTEDM. So you should remember this acronym. It was basically to stimulate the young people and qualified women in the field of specially science and technology. So you can get a statement question also. What exactly is the National Science and uh, Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board, you know, uh, it works for. So it basically works, you know, to ensure that the qualified women uh, are encouraged in the field of science and technology. Not only this, the sixth year, five, the sixth five year plan that is 1980 to 85 includes a separate chapter which focused on health, education, as well as employment uh, with respect to women entrepreneurship. With, with this is also includes promoting female employment in owned uh, female that is women owned industry so this was one of the uh, special uh, special thing which was done in the uh, sixth five year plan which was in order to promote uh, women entrepreneurship development then a second stage so now second stage let's let's see what exactly happened in st second stage or what are the specialities of second stage so establishment of various organization to support women entrepreneurship by providing training and assistance. That is, uh, again, uh, this was to encourage women entrepreneurship. In the year 1985 to 86, out of 100 and, sorry, 1,180 entrepreneurship development programs, women received 108, that is 10 percent, which was a great number as in start. Formation of new schemes like science and technology entrepreneurship parks, that is, step training and extension services refi ref, uh, ref, sorry refinancing facilities to institutions who are giving financial institutions to assistance to women entrepreneurs was also seen now and by whom it was done it was done by industrial bank develop uh, development bank of india that is idbi now there was certain launch of the program so this is very important in second stage from uh, for maths the following you can get you know or you can get a statement question also so programs like Mahila Udyam Nidhi, that is MUN to provide capital 
तो निधि इज नथिंग बट अ कैपिटल असिस्टेंस टू वुमेन एंटरप्रेनर्स एंड महिला विकास विकास इट इज यू नो टू प्रोवाइड कैपिटल असिस्टेंस टू एनजीओ डीलिंग इन वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रेनरशिप so this this schemes were basically providing capital as, uh, assistance to uh, women's progress as well as you know encouragement for women entrepreneurship establishment of national standing committee was uh, done that was on women entrepreneurs by government to advise uh, entrepreneurship development women entrepreneurship development so this were the uh, things or this were the points which were you know uh, which definitely worked in second stage of women entrepreneurship then third stage the third stage started from 1991 onwards so let's see what the what exactly happened in third stage so there was an announcement of new economic policy that is np and ep in order to provide institutional support and concessional finance to small and tiny industries earlier definition of women entrepreneurs it is at least half of the employees as women in addition to the control which can which includes the condition of employing at least half of the women employees was dropped in 1990 so that condition you know which was the earlier definition of women entrepreneurship about you know half employing half of the women was dropped it was you know not necessary in, since 1991 policy or 1991 onwards that is third stage of development of women entrepreneurship then uh entrepreneurship training as a part of university curriculum which was brought it by sndt you know women's university so this was a very good uh, you know developmental stage which was taken industrial policy resolution 1991 highlighted the necessity to provide special training program to develop women entrepreneurship or not only this the 8 5 year plan promotes development of small scale industries among which 9% were women entrepreneurs so this was again a special thing which was done in the 8th year 5 year plan other institutions helping women entrepreneurs are state industrial development corporation that is sidc and district industrial center so these were the uh, centers or institutions where which were helping women entrepreneurship so this was also you know uh, specially seen uh, for the encouragement of uh, women entrepreneurship okay so yes uh, so we have completed the women entrepreneurship topic now uh, with respect to business plan uh, innovation invention feasibility analysis so this all topics one by one will be uh, posted by me so that your once your theory theory is completed you can focus on your mcqs you can practice mcqs on daily basis and ensure that your paper two preparation is going well with respect to you know all the topics and all the units thank you everyone